Welcome to this writing tutorial for the TOEFL Integrated Writing Task. In this session, we'll explore why paraphrasing is a vital skill for your TOEFL success and how it helps you convey your understanding of reading and listening passages effectively. We'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to paraphrasing, offering practical tips and common pitfalls to avoid. Plus, you will have the chance to practice paraphrasing example sentences and see some suggestions for rephrasing. Paraphrasing is a crucial skill, especially in academic writing, such as the TOEFL Integrated Writing Task. It involves rephrasing someone else's ideas in your own words while maintaining the original meaning. In the TOEFL Integrated Writing Task, you're asked to summarize and synthesize information from both the reading and listening passages. To do this effectively, you need to paraphrase, combining key points and rephrasing the content in your own words, avoiding direct repetition. Effective paraphrasing demonstrates your understanding of the reading and listening passages, showing examiners that you can grasp and convey key concepts accurately. Before we dive in, let's illustrate what paraphrasing is all about by looking at a good and a bad example of paraphrasing. Let's take a look at an example of paraphrasing. The original sentence says, the rapid advancement of technology has significantly altered the way we communicate, making it easier to stay connected, but also creating challenges in maintaining privacy. Now here's a paraphrased version of it. The fast development of technology has changed the way we communicate a lot, making it simpler to stay in touch, but also causing problems with keeping privacy. So, why is this paraphrase not quite right? Well, it's too close to the original. It only swaps a few words with synonyms and doesn't really change the structure or phrasing. This is not very useful when trying to demonstrate your vocabulary range and ability to write in your own words. Now, let's look at a good example of paraphrasing. The sentence reads, technological advancements have dramatically reshaped communication enhancing our ability to stay in touch while also introducing new privacy concerns. So, why is this paraphrase effective? Well, it does a great job of rephrasing the original sentence using different vocabulary and sentence structure. It captures the same core ideas but presents them in a fresh way. By using words like reshaped and introducing, it adds variety while still maintaining the original meaning. This shows a strong understanding of the content and avoid simply copying the text. Now that we understand why paraphrasing is so important and how it can boost your TOEFL score, let's break it down into easy steps. Here's a simple guide to help you get better at paraphrasing. All right, let's start with the first step, understanding the original text. Before you dive into paraphrasing, it's super important to really get what the text is saying. This means carefully reading and thinking about the content. Ask yourself a few key questions. What's the main idea here? What details support that idea? And are there any specific terms or phrases that are crucial to the meaning? For example, if the original text says, climate change is causing more frequent and severe weather events, such as hurricanes, floods, and heat waves, which threaten both human populations and wildlife, you need to pick out the key points. Climate change is leading to more intense weather, these include hurricanes, floods, and heat waves, and both people and wildlife are at risk. Now, let's see how to use synonyms and rephrasing. This is where you start to put the ideas into your own words. Look for synonyms or different ways to express what the text is saying. But be careful. Some technical terms or specific concepts might not have exact synonyms, so you don't want to change those too much. Also, try to switch up the structure of the sentence to make it your own. For example, if the original text says, climate change is causing more frequent and severe weather events, such as hurricanes, floods, and heat waves, which threaten both human populations and wildlife, you could paraphrase it like this. More frequent and intense weather events, including hurricanes, floods, and heat waves, are a result of climate change and pose significant risks to both humans and animals. See how it's the same idea, but with different words and structure? That's the goal changing the sentence structure. This is another great way to make the paraphrase your own. You can do this by switching the order of ideas, combining or splitting sentences, or even using different types of sentences. 
like turning a statement into a question. For example, if the original says, the widespread use of smartphones has drastically changed how people interact with each other, often reducing face-to-face -face communication, you might paraphrase it like this. How people interact has been significantly altered by the widespread adoption of smartphones, often leading to a decrease in face-to-face -face communication. Notice how the structure is changed, but the meaning stays the same? This approach really helps to make your writing stand out. The next thing you will need to do to make sure your paraphrasing conveys the right meaning is compare your paraphrase with the original text. Once you've rephrased, it's important to check that your version still carries the same meaning. You'll also want to make sure you haven't copied phrases or structures too closely and that you haven't left out any important details. For example, if the original says, the internet has allowed for the globalization of information, making knowledge more accessible to people around the world, and your paraphrase is, the internet has enabled the globalization of information, allowing people worldwide to access knowledge more easily. That's still too close to the original. Instead, try something like this. Through the internet, information has become globalized making it easier for individuals across the globe to access knowledge. This version keeps the meaning, but feels fresh and original. If your paraphrase is too similar to the original, don't hesitate to revise it further. In the final step, we'll need to practice and review. Like any skill, paraphrasing improves with practice. Make it a habit to regularly paraphrase sentences or paragraphs from things you're reading. The more you practice, the better you'll get at finding the right words while keeping the original meaning intact. Over time, you'll develop a strong sense of how to rephrase effectively, which will really pay off when you're writing. Before we see some examples of paraphrasing, let's go over a few tips to make sure you're doing it effectively. First, avoid thesaurus abuse. This means don't just swap out words with random synonyms from a thesaurus. Make sure the new words fit the context and keep the meaning the same. Next, don't overdo it. Paraphrasing doesn't mean changing every single word. Some key terms might need to stay as they are, and most importantly, keep the meaning intact. The goal is to retain the original message while putting it in your own words. By following these tips and practicing regularly, you'll get better at paraphrasing, a skill that's valuable in both academic and professional writing. Many people wonder whether they need to use highly sophisticated vocabulary to get a high score on the TOEFL. The truth is, you don't. What really matters is using vocabulary accurately and appropriately. Here are some key points to keep in mind. First, focus on clarity over complexity. Your writing should be clear and easy to understand. Using simpler words correctly is far better than using complex words incorrectly. Next, think about precision. Choose words that precisely convey your meaning. Misusing advanced vocabulary can actually hurt your score more than sticking to simpler, accurate words. It's also important to show some variety in your word choices. While advanced vocabulary isn't necessary, try not to repeat the same words too often. Finally, remember that context matters. Use vocabulary that fits the context of the passage and your essay. The TOEFL is testing your ability to communicate effectively, not just your knowledge of difficult words. So yes, you can still get a high score with a moderate vocabulary if you use it effectively, maintain clarity, and demonstrate a strong understanding of the material. To finish up, we've included some examples for you to practice your paraphrasing skills. Try to paraphrase the sentences you see on the screen. Pause to write your response and then resume to see a useful suggestion of a paraphrased example. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get at rephrasing ideas in your own words. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL tips and practice tasks.